Nordlink, the green link for the exchange of Norwegian hydropower and German wind power. After travelling almost 600 kilometres from Norway under the North Sea, the cable will come ashore in Schleswig-Holstein, Germany. The electricity must be transported over this distance with the lowest possible losses. Tenet therefore utilises high voltage direct current transmission, with a voltage of 525 kilovolts. Both poles of the cable, positive and negative, will be pulled on shore through two conduits under the dike at Busum. From there on, they will begin the 54-kilometer underground cable construction section. The cable will be run underground up to the converter station in Vilster. Here, the direct current will be converted to three-phase electric power, and Nordlink will be connected to the German power grid. Nordlink has a capacity of 1,400 megawatts and can supply more than 3.6 million German households with renewable energy. Running a cable underground always requires alterations to the ground. In constructing and running the underground power line, Tenet strives to minimize the impact on people, agriculture, the environment and nature as much as possible. The strict requirements concerning soil protection and natural conservation are always complied with. The cable trench is dug by excavators every step of the way. The individual soil layers are carefully removed and stored separately. Depending on the character and quality, this may involve separate storage of additional layers, beyond just the topsoil and subsoil. The work corridor for a Nordlink cable trench during the construction phase is typically 20 metres wide. Due to the separation of multiple soil layers, it can sometimes be necessary to expand this corridor somewhat. Wooden beams, or metal plates, next to the cable trench are used for logistics and vehicle traffic. They also protect the soil from heavy construction machinery. To lay the two lines of cable next to each other, a trench 1.6 to 1.8 metres in depth is excavated. Due to the sloping of the sides, the upper opening is 2.6 to 3.9 metres wide, depending on the local soil conditions. At its base, the trench is generally only 70 centimetres in width. The underground power lines are delivered as coiled cable reels. A cable reel can hold roughly 1,000 to 1,200 metres of cable. The length of the cable per reel is limited by the weight and diameter of the cable reel to ensure that it can be transported on roads and under bridges. Each cable reel weighs about 50 tonnes and the entire transport weighs in at 130 tonnes, as much as a blue whale. The total weight is distributed over the many axles of the heavy transport vehicle. Such transports are limited exclusively to paved roads and generally take place at night to minimise the impact on traffic. During cable pull-in, the underground cable is generally laid with an open trench. It is carefully pulled into the cable trench over small roller blocks using a winch. Then, the workers shift the cable from the roller blocks into the prepared sand bed. The cable sections are connected by using the jointing method. This takes place in clean room containers to prevent contamination of the joints with sand or dirt at the construction site. The joints are then laid in the sand bed of the cable trench along with the cable itself. Open cable trenches will not be used at places where the Nordlink crosses roads, railways, rivers, deeper ditches, gas lines or similar infrastructure. In these cases, horizontal directional drilling is used, HDD for short. Over the 54 kilometers of the underground power line route, the Nordlink passes beneath 200 different infrastructure objects. This means that a total of 400 boreholes must be drilled with the HDD method for the positive and negative cables. 
Protective conduits are then pulled into the boreholes and finally the underground cable is inserted through the conduits. Drilling under the Keel Canal is another particular challenge of the project. The Nordlink must pass beneath the Keel Canal over a distance of 560 metres. Here as well, Tenet will be using horizontal directional drilling. To protect the underground cable from external influences, the workers will lay down safety plates and warning tapes. These will give visual and physical warning in case anyone mistakenly attempts to excavate here in the future. Finally, the cable trench will be filled again with the originally excavated material, taking care to return everything to the correct layer. The protected corridor above the Nordlink underground cable trench will only be 5 metres wide during the operating phase. In special construction situations, such as for deep horizontal drilling, it may be necessary to expand this width. The protected corridor above the cable route must also be kept free of deep tree roots. However, the burial depth of the cable allows for typical agricultural use or landscaping. Over the years, Tenet has gained extensive experience in laying and operating several thousand kilometres of direct current cable in Germany. Thanks to a cable laying process that protects the existing soil, agricultural use can be resumed after completion of the construction work. Previous experiences have shown that any impairments to plant growth or harvest yield above the underground cable abate quickly in a relatively short time, if they occur at all. Tenet leverages its experience in construction projects to obtain mutual agreement between all participants and affected parties, especially with farmers and forest managers. In this way, Tenet unites the grid expansion necessary for the energy transition with the goal of ensuring security of supply, all in harmony with people, the environment, agriculture and nature. <laughs>